Hey, welcome back and thanks for watching. It's getting a little breezy out here, but it is really warm today. I've got a new one for you. So on Facebook this morning, and I'll post the picture here, someone showed a way to drill out your three-point lift arms to get additional lift height. And I thought that was a really good idea. And there didn't there really doesn't seem to be any drawbacks to it other than don't go much more than about an inch uh, because if you do uh, they're they're not going to clear when you lift them all the way uh, but i thought to myself well i'm probably not going to do that but i do have the quick hitch and i know the quick hitch gave me additional lift height on the pine straw rake because i felt it this fall when i started using the quick hitch with the pine straw rake but the question is how much additional lift height did it give me on the pine straw rake? And then while I'm at it, what am I getting on the, the box blade? So let me cut right now to the video, just showing the measurements and then we'll talk about it uh, afterwards. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna measure here is tine height clearance. Top link is completely retracted to get the maximum height. And I'll go the third tine in because this one's actually bent a little in and this one's bent out. So the third tine in is 16 and a half with the quick hitch on. Let's do uh, take the quick, quick hitch off and see what we get. Now the quick hitch is off and we'll do the same uh, third tine. And that's 13 and an 8. So, yeah, definitely gained uh, height, obviously, with the quick hitch on. Same thing here on the box blade. We've got the top link fully uh, retracted. Maximum height. We're at a solid, without the quick hitch, solid 17 and a quarter on that blade. Ten and a half on the front edge of the box blade. Last measurement here with the quick hitch. Same thing on the top link. That's eighteen and a half. Not really a realistic scenario for the box blade. But eighteen and a half and about eleven and five eighths. Okay, so that was pretty interesting, right? Um, the pine straw rake, if I did my math right here, gained three and three eighths of an inch of height because on the tines because of the quick hitch. So that's that makes sense. Uh, the box blade, though, which is a a deeper implement, only gained an inch and a quarter. Again, if my measurements are right, I'll go back and check my math exactly uh, after I you know edit this video. Uh, or, well, I guess an inch and a quarter on the back blade and an inch and an eighth on the front. And that was even with the box blade pitched all the way up. So the top link screwed in as far as you can get it, which really isn't, is not a realistic scenario for that box blade because if you run it that way, your the front blade on that thing is going to dig in hard uh, and you'll, you'll gather material. You'll gather, you'll fill the box in a couple of feet. So that result did not make sense to me. I was thinking that, you know, they should be, you know, comparable uh, as far as the amount of height gain. So I started looking at the implements and what I, what I found was that, well, a couple of things, the pine straw rake, and I'll show it here. Uh, the mounting on that is really more at a 90 degree angle. Um, so when you extend uh, out from the tips of the lower lift arms with the pine straw rake, um, you're getting all of that extra lift, you know, straight, kind of in a straight line from the lower lift arms. Uh, but the box blade is situated a little bit differently. So the box itself is, uh, because of the frame mounting, is sort of angled down. So when you extend out from the, you know, with the quick hitch, you are not getting really a linear one-to-one, -one, I guess, sort of um, increase in the amount of lift clearance that you have on the box blade. 
Uh, so, and I even like sketch this out and sort of try to make math sense of this. And it does make sense, at least to me. I'm sure the commenters will chime in if, if I've got that wrong. Point being though, that the type of implement you put on the back of the tractor is gonna make a difference uh, as far as how much additional lift height you get using the quick hitch method. Um, using the drill out method, it should be more, uh, well, I'd have to think about that actually. Um, but anyway, so I, I know, you know, what I got with the, with the quick hitch, uh, change, but then check this out in the video that I just showed you, I was just showing you the measurement from the one side. Uh, the lesson learned in life here, or at least for me, is sometimes you have to broaden your perspective uh, to really get the full picture. So take a look here at the box blade first. And this is from the camera I have there on the, the carport. And you can see that when I did the with quick hitch and without quick hitch measurement, um, for the box blade, the box blade was sitting pretty level in both measurements. However... For the pine straw rake, the, box, the uh, pine straw rake was not. So the pine straw rake was actually crooked for the non-quick hitch measurement. So what that means, because the side I measured from was actually higher than it would have been had the pine straw rake been level without the quick hitch. So what that translates to, and I don't have the measurement, is that I actually got even more additional lift off of the pine straw rake with the quick hitch than the measurement I just showed you. And that's totally due to the fact that um, I cheated myself a little bit because I didn't keep the uh, uh, pine straw rake level in the non-quick hitch config. So sometimes sort of thinking about what you've done and taking a step back and saying, does this make sense? And looking at your own work again uh, uh, pays off in a positive way. Uh, and that's, I wish I had the measurement, but Definitely a good point here that the quick hitch in the case of an implement like a pine straw rake is adding a lot, you know, several inches, four or five inches, I'm guessing it probably gets up to, of additional lift clearance uh, for that implement. So th this is it, you know, I, I, again, back to the Facebook uh, post, the drill out method still seems like a really good method. Uh, and that's just something I wanted to get out here, get a video out and uh, show you guys this is a really cool idea. So if anyone decides to try this, uh, I'd be interested, you know, in the comments section, uh, post it. I'd be interested in hearing your results. You know, what you think of it? How easy was the metal to drill out? Um, did you drill it right? So is, you're not binding up at the top of the lift or did you drill too far? Uh, just, you know, post it in the comments. Uh, so as always, thank you for watching and I will look forward to catching you on my next video, which is coming out soon. Take care.